Question 7. Information about two substances given. Uh, substance P and Q. Okay, let's start from substance P. Electrical conductivity, good when solid and when molten. Uh, from this information, uh, we know that it's a metal. Effects of adding to water reacts vigorously to produce alkaline solution. Uh, this one telling us uh, is uh, most likely group 1 metal, okay, like the sodium and potassium, uh, which they react and produce the uh, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide solution. Melting point is 454. Substance Q. Uh, does not conduct electricity and in any state. Uh, from here, we know that it's a covalent compound. Reacts vigorously to produce acidic solution. Uh, this one is telling us it's a simple structure, not a giant. Uh, the giant covalence compound or giant molecular compound, it will not easily react with water, like diamond graphite. They won't uh, really react with water. Uh, the one that able to react with water, uh, for example, is like the Phosphorus oxide, sulfur dioxide. Phosphorus oxide react vigorously with water to form the phosphoric acid. Sulfur dioxide react with water to form sulfonic acid. And these two uh, compounds, they're having a simple structure, simple molecular structure. So now we should know the, the answer easily. For the P, it must be giant metallic structure. And bonding so means either a or D now Q is must be simple molecular like what I told you just now phosphorus oxide and sulfur dioxide so answer is a okay that's all thank you